Like many small business people living near the Westgate shopping mall in Nairobi, Patrick Ngugi was eager to open up shop again after being closed for a week following the mall attack. Here, he puts his artifacts on display by the roadside, hoping that the tourists would start coming back. Our businesses have been at a standstill for the past week, and tourists haven't been coming as tourists can go somewhere that's not safe. We rely on tourists in this market as we sell them many of our artifacts. We are hopeful that this week they will start coming one by one. It's a tough business as he relies solely on tourist trade and has to split his earnings with two of his counterparts. In that one week, the loss has been immense. We small business owners live on what we earn in a day, and we don't have savings to help us through such tough times. Security remains tight at the shuttered Westgate Mall with the military keeping guard. Al-Shabaab attacked the upscale mall last Saturday and held it for four days. At least 67 people were killed and some 175 were wounded in the attack. Nine days after the assault, there's still no clear word on the fate of dozens who have been reported as still missing. Five militants were also killed, but questions remain about the fate of the remaining attackers and fears persist that some managed to escape. Jin Keo, CCTV.